the strategy of trying to infiltrate the, the Republican Party and use it to, to shrink the size of government. This is what I've been hearing about since I was born, and it was going on 30 years before I was born. We and are at a, we are at we are at a point where this this strategy is working better than it's ever before. Right now, let's just look at a big something big that happened that probably that went kind of unremarked on, but happened in New Hampshire this 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 past November in New Hampshire. So first of all, Democrats controlled the 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 House and the Senate, and everyone was predicting that uh, that uh, Democrats were going to gain seats. Uh, Republicans not only took control of the House, the House and the Senate there, but it was because of Liberty Republicans. Liberty Republicans are now the majority of the majority in the state legislature in New Hampshire. Now, part of that is the Free State Project moving a lot of people in and building a big enough coalition, bringing bringing kind of the the the, the people resources there to make that possible. But this is but this is. But you know, th this is this is a case where now the Republican majority leader in New Hampshire is an outspoken Ron Paul Republican, and we're going to start to see some interesting things start to happen where we have actual, principled Ron Paul libertarians holding actual real political power through the Republican Party. They have more influence in 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 the decisions that are being made than the than the traditional GOP establishment now in the state of New Hampshire. Mm. That's what that's what our what that's that's what our, our our movement has been building towards as this strategy of of uh, electing people through uh, through the place where the neocons aren't guarding th their gates so well uh, through the state legislatures is is uh, is is building towards.